Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I will show you exactly how to claim your POSX token. If you sacrifice for POSX back in January 2022, then you are eligible to claim some tokens. So all you need to do is to move to your wallet, okay? The wallet you used in sacrificing for POSX, okay? So in my case, I'll be using my Metamax wallet, okay? Which is this wallet right here. So let me quickly unlock the wallet so that I can direct you and show you exactly what to do. So once you open your Metamax, I'll show you how to do this on Metamax and I'll show you how to do this on Trust Wallet. Okay, so watch this video to the very end. So once you open a Metamax wallet, then you go to Pulse Chain website. Okay, so this is Pulse X website. So I would quickly go to Pulse Chain. Okay, so this is Pulse Chain. Make sure that the website address is postchain.com. Once you're on postchain.com, scroll up. If you're on the desktop, you could click on store Metamax and follow the prompt. But for this video, pay attention to this. When you come down, if you scroll on this page, you see where I say network. So this is the information you need to add postchain to your wallet. Okay so that we can be able to see our tokens. So the first thing we need to pay attention to here is network name, which is post chain. So we copy the RPC URL, okay? The ID, the chain ID is 369. So we'll move over to Metamax, unlock our Metamax wallet, stick with me, okay? So once you unlock your Metamax wallet, you go to settings, click on network, Okay, and click on add network. Then at the top, at the top right, you click on custom networks. It gives you this page. So you type in post chain, which is the blockchain name. You can pause this video and do it along. Okay, or you watch through and repeat. So this is 369. So I'll go back to the post chain website and copy the explorer. URL, then I go back to the wallets and I paste it here where I said block explorer. Then for the symbol, I'll just put PLS. So PLS is the actual token of post chain. Okay, so I'll click on add. So when I click on add, I wait patiently for this to be added to my wallet. You can see immediately I just added it to my wallet automatically i have one pause chain coin in my wallet because i think uh, the network they give out free pause chain to be able to transact on the network so now we've just concluded the addition of this blockchain in our webs in our wallet so make sure that when you look at the top of your metamax that you can see pause chain okay so make sure you select pause chain so after adding it and you can see your one pause S, the next thing you need to do is to add the pause X token using the contract address. So if you check the description of this video on YouTube, you are going to see the contract address of pause X. Then if you are in my platform, in my Telegram, check on my Telegram, you are going to see a post I'm going to send containing the contract address. Okay, so make sure you use the exact contract address. Then you click on import token. If you look at under where you see one PLS, you see import tokens. If you click on import tokens, it gives you this interface. So the first says token address. So paste the contract address, which you will copy at the description of this video, or you will copy in the group. So once you paste it, just like I've done mine, you wait patiently for it to pull up the details about POS X. You can see automatically it has filled the token symbol by specifying that the token symbol is PLSX. Then token decimal is 18. You scroll up and click on import. Okay. So you click on import and wait patiently and automatically it has been imported. And you can see my POS X. Okay. This is my POS X token, which is the reward for the sacrifice ID. Now, this is for Metamax, so I'll quickly repeat the same thing on Trust Wallet. So I'm going to open my Trust Wallet right now. All right, so I just opened my Trust Wallet, okay? Once you open your Trust Wallet, this is exactly how to use your Trust Wallet to restore your coins and to transact or to move your POS X token. So once you come to Trust Wallet, the next thing you need to do is you click on the icon at the top 
right corner the icon that looks like a kind of a symbol you click on it then you click the plus button at that same top right corner once you click on that button you are going to see token at the top then by the right side you see networks click on this network okay once you click on this network now go back to the website or check the description of this video for the details okay we copy this url again go back to trust wallet this time around so the name is still post chain okay so we'll put in post chain so this is for trust wallet the symbol is actually pls okay the node url is the rpc link you are going to see just like i posted mine so i will go over right now to get the explorer link and after copying that i'll come back to trust wallet and post it here and that is it you can see so pay attention to the way i filled it the name is post chain the symbol is pls the node url i posted the node url the explorer link i posted the link for the explorer then i'll click on save so save is at the bottom when I click on save on Trust Wallet, I wait patiently for Trust Wallet to add this blockchain to my wallet. And immediately it's done, I'll click on done. And if I go down, you notice I have PLS here. Okay, so that is the PLS, which is the one PLS. So this is for those using Trust Wallet. The initial one I showed you is how to do it on Metamask. So this is for Trust Wallet. For me to see the POS X, I need to add the POS X to Trust Wallet. And remember that it, when we are looking at Metamax, we had to import the token. So in Trust Wallet, after you've added the network, you click on Add Token at the bottom. Once you click on Add Token, you click on the plus button at the top right. Once you click on it, Network, you click on Network. Okay, this time around, you have to select Post Chain. Make sure you select Post Chain. Then you click on Paste Address. And you wait patiently for the contract address to import the details of this token okay it's not important so if it's not important this is what you are going to do manually fill this thing put in post x okay this is post x the symbol is plsx the decimal should be 18 okay then you click on save so if yours did not import automatically just fill in the way i just did then you click on save automatically it imports my pause x and that is how simple it is to claim your token congratulations once again do not forget subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and like this video if you have any question regarding this video use the comment section and i promise i'm going to answer all your questions